Okay, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith, that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So welcome to the St. David's Church here in Christ Church, Barbados. We are very happy to invite you into our church as we prepare for Sunday coming. Sunday coming is the fourth Sunday of Easter. We continue within the Easter season. Indeed, within the context of the church, we observe all Sundays in a sense as Easter. But of course, during the Easter season, this is given very, very special prominence, so that you may know that we do not speak of the Sundays after Easter, but the Sundays of Easter, so that for the 50 days of this season, every Sunday, in a sense, is observed as Easter, as we reflect on the various resurrection appearances of our Lord to his disciples. That is going to change a bit from resurrection appearances this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday, the gospel reading will be that of Jesus the Good Shepherd. You will note that previously we had the appearance to those who are at the tomb, to the disciples, and so on. But this Sunday, this Sunday is very special. We are going to be considering Jesus as the Good Shepherd within the context of the resurrection stories. And this is most important because, of course, it recognizes that our risen Lord is the one who cares for us. And this is steeped in Old Testament. When we say, for example, in the psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, the shepherd is used as a royal sort of, it's a euphemism, a royal euphemism. Shepherd means king. So when we say, the Lord is my shepherd, we are actually acknowledging God Almighty as our Lord and King. And so it is awesome that we think of this on Sunday coming and we look at the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, and we will begin at verse 11, where the writer reminds us of Jesus' words, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. This is wonderful. The notion of the good shepherd, you know, and you know there's absolutely no English word to translate the word that is used in Greek for good. But we find a word that is fairly close. So we really look forward to you being with us this coming Sunday as we delve into this, as we dive into it, so that we may pull out its deeper meaning for Jesus in our lives. Jesus, the Good Shepherd. And this is especially important as we deal with the COVID-19 pandemic, as we deal with the recent volcanic eruption in St. Vincent and its impact on us and across the Caribbean. It tells us that in the midst of the challenge, in the midst of the difficulty, in the midst of the loneliness that all of these things bring, that we have someone who is watching over us, someone who knows us each by name. And that is our risen Lord, the Good Shepherd. That's why the, the psalmist, the, psalm say, the psalmist says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall never lack. I shall never be in want. Here our Savior says to us, I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. And I lay down my life for the sheep. We give thanks to God Almighty for this. We look forward to seeing you being with us as we share this gospel reading and the full import of what this means for our lives today as we go through the various issues and challenges. So be with us. All of the hymns will reflect that of the Good Shepherd and we look forward to you sharing with us and knowing what this means for our lives as we go through the various challenges day by day. So thank you very much for listening to these few words, and I invite you to be with us this coming Sunday, our 7.45 a.m. service, as we give thanks to God for being with us 
for caring for us on this Good Shepherd Sunday. God bless you.